What's up you guys? So today, Tesla ended up closing right at $200. Currently, I do not have a position. The last position I took was Tesla calls that I ended up closing out yesterday, and we covered that in that video. Now, what I wanna do here is just give you guys a brief little update on Tesla's price action, and more so if I think that we could retest this fair value gap back down to $192. Now, the first thing we wanna start with is just zooming out. Let's go all the way out to a daily time frame or even a weekly time frame. If you're somebody who is newer to trading, you should number one, really only be trading the bigger time frames, especially if you're somebody who has a full-time job. You shouldn't be trying to day trade while you're at your job. Ultimately, you might make some great trades, but over the long term, it's not a sustainable way to run a business, which is what trading is to run a fund, and it's not a great sustainable way for your mental health. So looking at a daily chart, there's a couple of major things that we need to look off. One thing I like to do is strike off all of the highs that have not been taken out yet. So we have a high all the way up here, another high, and then finally, another high here. So these are all of the highs to the upside. These lows will not be counted because every single one of these lows has been taken out besides one that's all the way down here in April. And then this most recent low here at about 175.56. Now that we have all of these out, we know that this is kind of the range at which Tesla's been trading. But the most recent range that we're the most interested in is going to be most recent swing high here from back in December 28th, 2023 down to this swing low here on February 5th, 2024. If we just isolate that leg or that move and we were to draw a Fibonacci retracement from that swing high up here on December 28th down to this swing low, you're going to notice that our very important levels, our golden zone that we're looking at here, if we were to stretch this out, this is where we have a very high chance to potentially retrace back up to and is a very good time to actually look to potentially go short on Tesla if we can get back up into that 230 area. So now that we know that we're in a downtrend on Tesla, which is the first thing to understand, we understand that we're definitely a little bit oversold and that there's a pretty good chance that we can at least pull back up, which is what we've been saying for the past couple of weeks, at least to fill the gap that we had from earnings, which I will say now is filled. We did come all the way up to not quite 208, which is what I thought, but we came up to about 205.36. So I would say that that play now is done. Now, looking at this, we still have this potential move that we could see back up into $230. So I do believe that there's still some meat on the bone, but we have to start saying to ourselves, okay, in the shorter term, are we overextended? So now that we have all this on the daily, let's just look at a one hour chart. So if we zoom in on the one hour, you're going to see this is that long move, you know, on the bigger time frame that we have on the daily. But if we're really kind of looking at the most recent high on this smaller time frame, you're going to notice that that high is going to be placed right about here. Once again, if we're isolating, think of like a telescope or a microscope. Each time frame is like we're turning it to get a clearer and clearer picture or a little bit more magnified. So once again, we're gonna take our Fibonacci retracement from this swing high, and we're gonna isolate it to pull it down to this swing low. What do we notice here, guys? If we pull this all the way out, which I'm just gonna show you where those points are drawn from, and instead I'm gonna actually use a block to show you where the best entry short would be, and also where the best time to take our short-term profits would be. So in the short term, I would be getting out of Tesla. I think the best case scenario, what we will see happen is Tesla push back up to 215. Then I would want to see a retest of this level of 205, followed by this push through this resistance. And that would be a break of structure. If we can actually come back up and hold this old level, well, guess what? Now we have a potential chance to come back up and test $235. But at this point, I can only comfortably assume, right, this is all assumptions, I can only comfortably assume that we'll get that opportunity cost back up to $205, which is what we got, and now we're not looking to go long in the short term. So what could change here? Okay, this is very, very important here. What could end up changing? Well, a couple of things. Number one, we actually have a fair value gap, which is going to be set right here at this candle. I can actually just go through and show you guys drawn out this candle right here. And all this means is that at this run right here, 
on this big push up, all of the orders that wanted to fill, the big orders that wanted to fill from big money, they weren't able to. And so what happens in most cases is when we see these types of moves, we actually get a retracement back into that level so that all of the big money orders can fill where they want to before we get another impulse to the upside. So I think that there's a very high chance that we will see Tesla in the next couple of days, maybe next week or so, retrace back down into this level and then test a support of about 191 to 192. So all I'm doing at this point is I'm not forcing anything, right? If Tesla comes back down into this level, there's a chance that I will probably want to go long again in the short term down around 185. If not, then we just play what's in front of us. If we break out, we push up to 210, then great. I'm not long other than long-term shares right now, but I don't have to be. I trade many things other than Tesla, and we don't have to force trades. That's the most important thing. You should be focusing on leverage. Leverage not only in trading, but leverage in your life. And I don't mean the type of leverage like you go out and borrow money. But when you're looking at actions that you need to take in your life, because we only have so much time in a day and so much time in our life, you need to be pulling the levers every single day that will get you the biggest potential movement for each move in life and each move in the market that you take. So in this instance, we don't have to be forcing all of these micro trades. If we get another entry on Tesla and we pull back down to 185, great, we'll go long again and we'll, we'll potentially play the move up to 230. If that doesn't happen, then we'll play something else, which if you guys wanna get access to my other trades, go check out our Discord community and go check out our X or my, my Twitter account, which will be down below. And you can find other trades. There's other, so always opportunity out there. So I hope that this video helps, guys. Thank you for all the support. Truly means the world to me. And if you guys want access, like I said, to all my trades, all my trading bots, as well as courses, seminars, live streams, all of that will be on our Traders Helping Traders Discord community, which will be the second link in the description. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll see you next time. Peace.